When Japan reopens for free and easy travel, plan a trip to Shizuoka for beautiful hikes, sights, and eats. The prefecture is home to Mount Fuji, Japan's sacred tallest peak at 3,776 meters, and Suruga Bay, Japan's deepest point at 2,500 meters below sea level. I'm Walter Sim, Japan correspondent for The Straits Times, and let me take you on a journey to see what else Shizuoka has to offer. I am in the city of Fujinomiya in beautiful Shizuoka Prefecture. Here, on clear days, you can get unobscured views of Japan's tallest peak, Mount Fuji. I am at my first stop at the Mount Fuji World Heritage Center, and boy, I got lucky. The Japanese describe Mount Fuji as shy, as it is obscured by clouds for two thirds of the year. The center marks Mount Fuji's recognition by UNESCO in 2013 as a World Heritage Site. Designed by renowned architect Shigeru Ban, its centerpiece is a 193 meter slope that mimics an ascent up Mount Fuji by gradually growing steeper near the top. On my descent, I learned about Mount Fuji's volcanic history as well as its many artistic influences. A stone's throw away is the Fujisan Hongu Sengen Taisha Shrine. The shrine was built at the current site in the year 806, but it is said to have existed since 27 BC so as to appease the volcanic Mount Fuji. Through the centuries, it has been a highly regarded place of worship. Also at the shrine is the Wakutama Ike, or the Gushing Jewels Pond, where the spring water. Is from snow melt of Mount Fuji that is said to take at least 60 years to trickle down. Feeling thirsty, I have an award-winning glass of craft beer at the nearby highly recommended Mount Fuji Brewing before heading over to the Omiya Yokocho for its yakisoba fried noodles. The yakisoba of Fujinomiya City is said to be among Japan's best, and I am indeed impressed by the chewy noodles in a locally made sauce. With generous portions of pork lard and cabbage, my hunger pangs satisfied. My next stop is the Shiraizo Falls. These are recognized as one of Japan's most beautiful waterfalls, and not without reason. Nearby is the 25 meter tall Otsudomi Falls, where optimal light conditions produced a rainbow. I stop for a breather at the newly opened souvenir stores before embarking on an ecotourism journey created by Mount Fuji Satoyama Vacation, a glamping site where I spend the night. I start at Organic Farm Yuno Saya, harvesting vegetables for my glamping barbecue, before visiting Sake Distillery Fuji Nishiki, which dates back to 1688. And uses locally grown rice and water from Mount Fuji snowmelt to brew its sake. Then it's time for a sumptuous feast featuring locally sourced meat, vegetables from Yuno Saya, and sake from Fuji Nishiki. My stay was also a treat. The showers were luxurious, while the tents were comfortable with adequate electric power sockets. After a long day, it felt great chilling on a hammock with an unhindered view of Mount Fuji. I'm headed through winding mountain roads to one of Japan's most beautiful villages, Kawane Honjo. Be sure to pop a motion sickness pill just in case if you're prone to falling ill. There, board the rustic Oigawa Railway steam locomotive, which chugs through valleys and forests. The stunning Nagashima Dam is a sight to behold. I alight at the Okuoi Kojo Station, that is photogenically perched on a ridge and located in the middle of a river. Cross the Rainbow Bridge to the other side, and then hike up to a vantage point to get a superb, unobscured view of the scenery. 
Another must see is the Yume no Tsiribashi or the Bridge of Dreams. The narrow, rickety suspension bridge is 90 meters long and towers 8 meters above the cobalt blue waters of the Sumata Gorge. It was selected by TripAdvisor as one of the top 10 bridges to be crossed before you die, and legend has it that wishes for love or romance made on this bridge will be answered. I end my day at Sui Koen, a traditional Japanese ryokan at the Sumata Gorge, with a picturesque garden leading to the sulfur hot springs. I began the next morning with a visit to the tea museum. If you think the ancient capital of Kyoto is the birthplace of Japanese tea, you cannot be more wrong. Japanese tea has its roots in Shizuoka, which is now home to the country's largest tea plantation. The museum exhibits showcase samples of tea leaves from around the world and the machinery that is used in tea processing. Relax in the expansive Japanese garden or enjoy a tea ceremony before tucking into green tea soba cooked in carbonara style at the museum restaurant. Next, I go to the Shimizu port where my guide and I boarded the Suruga Bay ferry on our chartered car. The ferry crosses Japan's deepest waters in Suruga Bay to the town of Toi on the western side of the Izu Peninsula. I then passed the time by gazing into the horizon till we reached Toi Port. The Toi Gold Mine was once Japan's second largest gold mine until it was decommissioned in the 1960s. Exhibits now showcase the site's illustrious past, while there are experiential areas that allow visitors to try scooping gold for themselves. But its main claim to fame is that it is home to the world's largest gold bar at 250 kilograms in weight. This was valued at a whopping 2.1 billion yen during my visit. Like many visitors, I could not resist the chance to touch the gold bar for good fortune. Hopefully, the gods of Mount Fuji are watching over me favorably after this trip. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.